Okay, now I'm going to be doing a weight experiment using Newton's law. I'm going to weigh myself first uh, while I'm stationary as my regular weight. Let's see if we get... So this, my regular weight is 195. Therefore, since I'm stationary, the normal force or the parent weight is the same as my regular weight. Now I'm going to go over to an elevator. So in theory, if I accelerate upward, the ground should push me up more. And therefore, when I accelerate up, the ground should push me up and I should weigh more. My apparent weight should be more. When I'm accelerating down, my weight should be more than the normal force and therefore the scale should read less than my weight. So let's go over to an elevator. Okay, now I'm going in the elevator. I'm gonna put it down. hundred and ninety six point five okay now the elevator is going to accelerate down and you can see that it weighed less one ninety four and a half so from the elevator experiment you can see here uh, my regular weight was about one, uh, 195 pounds, so that's what we call mg. Now when the elevator was accelerating up, uh, the normal force has to be greater than my weight so that it can enable me to accelerate up, so that in that initial stage, we can say N minus MG is equal to MA. So the, the scale read about 196 pounds. A little bit more, about a pound, half a pound to a pound more than my weight. So it needs to give me that extra push, extra acceleration. So from there we can actually calculate what was the acceleration of the elevator. So we can put here 196. The weight, my weight is 195. What is my mass? Well, in the British unit system with pounds uh, and stuff like that, we use, we use mass, we measure mass in slugs. So uh, the gravity is 32. Uh, the G value is equal to 32 feet per second squared in the British unit system. So the mass is going to be 195 divided by 32, which is about um, 8, 8 or something, yeah, about 8, 9. If it was 9, it would have been uh, uh, 194 divided by 32, which is about, uh, let's see, 195 divided by 32, 6.09375. Let's give the actual value. So that's what my mass is, and that's in units of slugs. Slugs. So you could put that here, 6.09375A. So what was the acceleration of the elevator? Well, it's the difference of the two, which is one, divided by my slugs, which is 6.09. feet per second squared, up. So you can notice the acceleration of the elevator is not that um, uh, big. And which is a good thing because you don't want it to be accelerating up very strong and you would feel a lot more than your weight. How about the acceleration down? When it was accelerating down, I can still use the same mass. Now what's going to happen? Now the normal force is 194 and a half. So it weigh, I apparently weigh less than my weight because 
my, my uh, gravity is pulling me down, but the elevator is not supporting me as much, so I'm, the elevator is uh, accelerating down. Now, during the middle stage, when the elevator is going at a constant speed, the weight stays at uh, 195 pounds. So what was the acceleration of that? This time I have mg minus n is equal to ma. So I have 195 minus 194 and a half is equal to 6.09375a. So this one's even gonna be less. Point 0.5 divided by that. Well, it's actually going to be half as much. So, um, point 0.082 feet per second squared. So, the acceleration down is about half as much as the acceleration up. Of course, the best would have been if I had some other kind of more a uh, sophisticated digital scale that would actually keep this in memory and every time it would accelerate I would uh, keep it in memory and, and then and, uh, be able to plot versus uh, going down versus going up because the version of the scale that I had was it just reads a value and it stays at that value then I have to reset it get on uh, get off the uh, scale get on top of it again and then it reads of another value but it can't instantaneously give you uh, multiple, multiple values. So if this was a more sophisticated scale, we could do that. But on a general idea, you got the general idea that when it accelerates up, you have an apparent weight greater than your weight. And when it accelerates down, you have an apparent weight less than your weight. So this is the concept that we can utilize Newton's second law. And we, this is a classic example that we do in the class. Thank you.